Hey, Mith. Yes, sir. You have some time? Yeah, sure, sir. Please sit. I stopped you because you looked a little worried and you looked a little engrossed in some thought. I was sure. wondering what are you thinking? Yes, exactly. Uh, so, I was trying to write a quote for this puzzle named Fizbus. I, I don't know whether you have heard of, heard, heard of it or not. It's a very famous puzzle, very... I know. Not, uh, not very difficult one. But when you try to write a quote for this, then you get stuck somewhere. And Correct. it's not only me. I've, I, I tried to Google it and I found that many, uh, actually more than 80% of people get stuck there. And it's very surprising how it how it is happening. Why pe- all, all of them are getting stuck at that point only. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, uh, you're discouraged thinking that probably your programming skills are poor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because of which. So, have you been programming all this while? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I, no, but I, I you used to think that I am a good programmer. programmer. But this particular thing was a bouncer for you, is yeah, what exactly. you are saying. Mm. Okay. So, I also personally feel that this FizzBuzz is slightly hyped on the internet. Okay. So, historically speaking, there is some story behind FizzBuzz. I am sure you know of it. If not, I will just brief you with okay. it. It is believed that a whole lot of programmers who claim that they are good programmers cannot even write a simple code. Okay. Okay. This simple code, in quotes, a good candidate example for a simple code is this FISBUS. Okay. As you know, you can describe it, right? It's it's some multiple of threes and yeah, exactly. fives that you uh, want to display in a particular way and things like that. Exactly. Let me illustrate what exactly is the problem here. Do you know of any tongue twister? Uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I uh, used to know some. Okay. Uh, example, can you tell me? Yeah. Some tongue twister of your choice? Uh, my friend told me once, so I will try. Bitty uh, uh, bought some butter, but the butter was better, so he bought some more butter to make the bitter butter better. Okay, so that's, that's not exactly okay. the <laughs> tongue twister, but it's okay. Good that you made a mistake, I wanted yeah. you to make a mistake. Okay. You see, is it impossible for you to get this uh, tongue twister? Some amount of practice. Practice is required, yeah. Huh. But without practice, it's plain impossible for you to get this right. True, true. I will give you another tongue twister. Okay. She sells seashells in the seashore. We, are, we have been, we have been uh, narrating this okay. for, for like ages, right? From our childhood yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah. you try to uh, narrating this? Can you repeat it one more time? Sea sells seashells in the seashore. She, uh, she sells seashells in the seashore. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it, it's difficult. <laughs> the point here is that there are certain things that that comes by practice okay. certain things that are very difficult to do it in the first time okay. right a simple sentence like um, um, as good as it gets say that as good as it gets so that's easy okay. certain things are easy certain things are difficult i somehow feel this fizz buzz is a very hyped programming example okay. and it sort of discourages people from programming thinking that they are not very good programmers yeah right yeah, but with practice i'm sure you can do a super FISBUS program too. According to me, super FISBUS is you give as input some bunch of numbers and you should display which number, which multiples to display and which multiples not to display. Exactly. Right? A variant of FISBUS, let's say. So I think we should not take these things very seriously. All that matters here is enormous amount of practice. You keep practicing, I am sure FISBUS is uh, just a very bad candidate example. Anything for that matter will be a cakewalk for you. Okay? So my call for all the programmers learning especially in our course is that there are going to be questions that are not going to be so straightforward that you will find it difficult to code but that should be perfectly fine with a few attempts you will be able to do it my sincere request for you all is to not switch on a timer and then start coding right fizzbuzz is probably difficult for you but given one hour's time do you think you will not be able to solve it definitely one hour so programming should not be timed according to me Forget all the competitive programming uh, challenges. Programming, according to me, is like an art. It should be treated like an art. At least up to the point that you reach that you say you're an expert and then you can try competitive programming. But until that point, you master programming. I think you should be slow, you should be diligent and you should not time your programming. So, do this experiment. Take an innocent programmer who doesn't know a whole lot of programming but is newly introduced to programming, some student from let's say our JOC course and give him good amount of time, motivate him, tell him what is FISBUS, I am sure he can solve it. Ok, 
okay in last video we saw that uh, the program we wrote a program but and, and we think that logic is correct but still we are not getting the desired output so we'll see what why what's the problem in the program so you can see here that in 15 i am getting fizz i should get fizz buzz but i'm not getting fizz buzz and according to me the logic is correct still i'm getting fizz only i should get fizz buzz actually the problem is that what we are doing is whenever whenever a number is coming first we are trying to find whether that number is uh, 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 multiple of 3 then if it is not multiple of 3 then we are checking whether it is a multiple of 5 and if it is not both multiple of 3 uh, and if it is not multiple of 5 then we are checking that it is multiple of 3 and 5 then we are uh, uh, showing fifth bus now see let let me debug this let me go go through all the numbers suppose if i am getting number 3 i will it will, it will get here 3 is 3 mod 3 is 0 it means that 3 is divisible by 3 i will get a fizz so okay it's perfect for 6 also it will show me 6 is 6 mod 3 is 0 6 is divisible by 3 it's okay uh if 10 comes then uh 10 is not divisible by 3 as 10 mod 3 is not 0 or remainder is not 0 uh, then uh, it will go to the next condition as 10 mod 5 is 0 hence it will print buzz perfect for 12 it will if 12 comes 12 mod 3 is 0 okay it's fine it will show fizz perfect now let's say 15 when 15 comes the first if condition is If i mod 3 is equal equal to zero, which means 15 mod 3 is equal equal to 3, zero. Yes, 15 mod 3 is zero. So it will just print fizz and get out of the loop. That's the problem. Hence, first, the problem is the first condition is i mod 3. It's only checking for for 3 the divisibility divisibility uh, divisibility by 3. Uh, but we have to check for both for 3 and 5 it is if it is divisible by 3 and 5 both then should print fizz buzz and then only it should check for 3 and 5 hence uh i will change the conditions here let me rewrite the code okay so i'll write here if i mod 3 is equal equal to 0 and i will check for both i mod 5 is equal equal to 0 i will print string i plus equal to fill buzz else if it is not divisible by both then i will check if it is divisible by 3 5 or 3 is equal equal to 0 then i will print let me just copy this thing so that in fizz else if it is divisible by 5 then print this else it means that it is not divisible by Three and five and four. I'll just print the number. Okay. okay, it is always good to write a function for whatever program you are writing. Here, I just wrote the logic, my code here. But it is better if I define a function and that call and then call that function. I'll just uh, write a function. 
the dev the, the syntax is dev function name so I'll write this buzz okay. and here I will give the range value let's say all this value and to indent always take care of the indentation because in python if you don't take care of the indentation and your code is huge then you find difficulties uh, in indenting that's why we are using uh, spider kind of idle where indentation does uh, where, it, where it automatically does the indentation if you are using some other like a g edit or some text editor then it will be difficult for you guys to do the indentation or you can use the sublime text also but we recommend you to use a spider editor this is okay uh, okay i can call this function from the terminal also for example this is fine i uh, will just run this okay this is run and i will call the function is buzz in the range range of determinant we gave the r but i am not using it so i will use this r here awesome we'll again run this right. we'll call the function phase buzz and the range so i'll give it 51 awesome Let's check 1, 2, 3, 3 is phase, 5 is buzz, 6 is phase, 9 is phase, 10 is buzz, 12 is phase, 15 is phase buzz. This is working. You can even write the fun you can even call the function here. So I can write phase buzz and you can give the argument here. And when I will run this, it will show you. Cool. So we are done with the Fizzbus program. Uh, you can even modify this program. You can even create your own game, something like that. Uh, you can change the numbers. Uh, for example, uh, for you know, the, the conventional uh, Fizzbus game, you use three and five. You can use some other numbers, some other prime numbers, for example, uh, eleven and thirteen, whatever. Okay, we uh, strongly recommend you guys to play with it and. Uh, if you are getting some new questions uh, regarding Fizzbuzz and new ideas also, please discuss on the discussion forum. Uh, uh, it will help other guys also and it will create more new ideas for us and for you guys also. Okay, we will meet again. Uh, good luck. All the best.